when a car moves on a circular road what is the problem in case it moves with a high speed in case a car moves on a circular road with high speed what is the possible problem skid away yes it will skid away so that means something which prevents it from skidding so this is how i will draw it this is the axis of a rotation this part is road and the vehicle is this is the vehicle entering into this is the axis of rotation this is how the vehicle enters the vehicle is entering into it takes half circle then it is towards the reader so when you draw the diagram if you see it from the side like this the wheels will appear to be a circle but if you see a vehicle from the back you won't see circular part then the vehicle looks like and the wheels here the vehicle is entering into if the vehicle is moving into you represent it as a cross the vehicle is moving away from you the vector is into and when it is moving towards now after half circle then how you represent the same vehicle as you represent the vehicle as dot it means what it is moving towards the reader dot means vector moving towards cross means moving into so centrifugal force magnitude of centrifugal force is equal to what m v square by r derivation for this is chapter number 2 will be covered at the end of the chapter so temporarily assume centrifugal force the force which would try is to move the body outward outward it is a pseudo force we'll discuss that means it is a circular motion what prevents or what provides necessary centripetal force if you want to maintain any object in circle tension in the string provides necessary centripetal force centripetal force is a force required to keep an object in a circular motion earth sun earth earth also moves in circular motion what provides necessary centripetal force gravitational force provides necessary centripetal force some force is required to maintain object in a circular motion here what provides friction tendency of the object is to move away like this tendency of the object is to move away to skid away friction acts in direction opposite to tendency so tendency of the object is to skid away that is why friction acts inwards this apparent centrifugal force magnitude is mv square by r so friction provides necessary centripetal force what's the value friction provides necessary centripetal force means m v square by r friction is equal to what nu times normal reaction normal reaction is equal to how much mg weight of the object acts downwards mg normal reaction upward magnitude of mg and r is equal so nu times r m v square by r m m cancel v is equal to what nu rg and root means what 
this is a critical case if you move at a speed slightly more than this then what will happen the outward force becomes a more than friction and the vehicle will skid away so this is the maximum possible speed at which you can run or turn with safe limits if it is equal it is critical if it is slightly more than this speed vehicle will skid away now importance of new if new is more you can have high speed on a rainy day like today on a turn because of water on the circle value of new decreases speed at which you can take a turn also decreases one r if r is more you can move at high speed if r is less you can turn at a low speed that is why in a motorcycle race you might have seen sometimes they take a bigger turn with a large radius of curvature why because they can maintain high speed so it depends speed maximum speed at which you can take a turn depends on coefficient of friction higher the coefficient of friction higher is the speed higher is the radius of curvature higher is speed and g remains constant on surface of earth that is 9.8 or 10 time with you is 4 minutes to write 4 minutes to write So what is the formula? Yes, V is equal to nu R G and root. Formula is V is equal to nu R G and root. Now we take up one numerical. Numerical number nineteen one nine. numerical is find the maximum speed at which a car can turn around a curve of 30 meter radius on a level road underline level road if the coefficient of friction between the tires and the road is 0.4 acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square what is given is yes the radius yes for this circle radius is given how much r is given 30 meters yes coefficient of friction 0.4 g 10 find v maximum possible speed you can maintain without skidding find v max v max is equal to nu r g and root is equal to nu is how much 0.4 r 30 g 10 is equal to 120 and root approximately equal to what 11, 11 meter per second means what you can turn at what speed 11 meter per second if your speed is more than 11 meter per second then there is a scope chance for vehicles getting away so the speed has to be less than how much 11 meter per second equal to 11 meter per second it is a critical case fine right? 
बी पार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन बी पार्ट एंगल ऑफ बैंकिंग एंगल ऑफ बैंकिंग से थीटा वन मिनट टू गो थ्रू so what was the problem there was a limit on speed if you maintain speed more than this the vehicle skids away so what is the solution for this suppose you want to increase the speed you want to take a turn but at a higher speed then you can change this angle you need not keep this road horizontal increase this angle increase the outer edge height of the outer edge of the road to be increased that you might have seen in a cycle stadium banked one two when you travel to hilly area again when you take a turn the outer edge is at a higher level than the inner one that means what the new diagram is the outer edge this one is at higher height say h in comparison to inner one then how the vehicle moves yes again the same vehicle what are the various forces acting weight is acting what weighting is acting downwards mg mv square by r something will provide mv square by r and normal reaction is what r is normal reaction theta yes if this angle is theta what about this angle yes this is also theta why whatever is angle between two lines same is angle between their perpendiculars one line line one this is perpendicular to this you can see normal direction line two perpendicular to this is this one that is why angle between these two lines is what theta whatever is angle between two lines same is the angle between their perpendiculars so r sin theta r cos theta what you write is r sin theta provides necessary centripetal force so r sin theta is equal to what m v square by r one equation r cos theta is equal to what r cos theta means vertical component is equal to what weight mg divide 1 by 2 yes if you divide 1 by 2 r r is cancel sin theta by cos theta tangent theta is equal to m m cancel v square by r tangent theta is equal to v square by r means what this is with what assumption no friction even if a friction is not there you can drive your vehicle at certain speed whatever this value of speed is 
suppose by calculation you get v is equal to 100 if you derive at a speed more than 100 yes mv square by r will be more and the vehicle will have tendency to move away if you derive at a speed less than speed less than this value say 100 meter per second then the vehicle will have tendency to skid inwards so what is the role of friction when the vehicle has tendency to skid away friction will act inwards because friction is self adjusting if the vehicle has a tendency to skid inwards because of low speed friction will act outwards so friction will help adjust itself both magnitude as well as direction to provide stability to the vehicle so time with you is 4 minutes to write 4 minutes to write Numerical number The radius of curvature of a railway track at a place where the train is moving at a speed of 72 km per hour is 625 meter. The distance between the rails is 1.5 meter. Find the angle and the elevation of the outer rail so that uh, there may be no side pressure on the rails. How do you draw this for a railway track? Yes, the diagram for a railway track is angle of banking outer rail somewhere here. This is rail one. You have a wheel here, this is the axle, and this is what you have the train. This is how the arrangement is. Outer track rail is at what height h this distance between the two is how much s so i can redraw this triangle as theta s is equal to what yes go through the question s is equal to what distance between the rails distance between the rails is 1.5 meter height h we want to know what is given is yes please speed of train how much 72 kilometer per hour 1 kilometer per hour is 5 by 18 meter per second 5 by 18 that means 20 meter per second. what else radius 625 this radius means the train moves in a circle of or radius of curvature 625 meters the formula uses yes what is required is a part find yes what theta formula is tangent theta is equal to v square by rg solve it put a value for V, R and G and find tangent theta is equal to what?
tangent theta is equal to v, v square is equal to what? v is equal to 20, 20 square, r 625, g 10, approximately equal to what? Tangent theta is equal to what? Point zero six five. Am I right? Tangent theta is equal to this. Theta is equal to tangent inverse zero point zero six five, approximately equal to four degree. This is from the table, right? Tangent theta table. This value comes out to be approximately 0 0.04. Second part, yes, B part. Yes, yes, B part is find, B part deals with find H outer rail is at what height? Tangent theta is equal to sin theta for small values. If a value is a small, sin theta and tangent theta are equal. For example, 2 degree. Tangent 2 degree is equal to tangent 2 degree is equal to sin 2 degree divided by cos 2 degree. Cos 0 is how much? 1. So, cos 2 degree is almost equal to 1. So, tangent 2 degree is almost equal to sin. So, sin theta approximately equal to 0 0.065. In the given diagram, sin theta is equal to what? Perpendicular by hypotenuse h by s, h by 1.5 is equal to 0. 0.065 h is equal to what? 1.5 into 0 0.065 comes out to be approximately in meters 0 0.097 meter or 9.7 centimeter. The outer rail is approximately 9 centimeter at a level higher than the inner rail. Eleven C part is not given in the notes, but we will cover it. Bending of a cyclist, flat road. Yes. What is your observation? What you have done is, suppose you are moving on a flat road and you want to take a turn by at a high speed. Then you bend inwards, you bend towards the center, am I right? So, if there is a cyclist, say this is a cyclist, normal conditions it is like this perpendicular, in case the person wants to take a turn, the person will bend inwards, that means what? A cyclist say this is the wheel, this is the body makes angle theta with the vertical. 11 CD is with what? Bending of a cyclist. Important aspect is theta is the angle which it makes with the vertical, not with the horizontal competition. If the normal direction is R, again the issue is the same. What angle with the vertical theta? vertical r cos theta, this is r sin theta. r sin theta again will provide similar way necessary centripetal force r sin theta is equal to mv square by r. 
r cos theta is equal to mg dividing 1 by 2 r r cancel sin theta by cos theta yes tangent theta m m cancel same expression v square by r time with you is 3 minutes to write Answer numerical number 23. Numerical is a motorcyclist goes around a circular race course of diameter 320 meter at 144 kilometer per hour. Full stop. How far from the vertical must he lean inwards? to keep his balance, take g is equal to 10 meter per second square. What is given is, yes, diameter, that means radius is equal to 320 meter by 2 is 160 meter. Speed, 1, yes, 140. 4 kilometer per hour. 1 kilometer per hour is 5 by 18. 5 by 18. 18 years are 144. Right? So, it comes out to what? 40 meter per second. What you need to find out is theta. Tangent theta is equal to what? V square by R. Put the values, come out of the answer. Tangent theta is equal to what? Tangent theta is equal to V square by RG. V is equal to what? Tangent theta is equal to V 40 square by R G, 160 into G is 10, comes out to what? 1. If tangent theta is equal to 1, implies theta is equal to what? 45 degrees. 